We're, we're very excited to introduce the PLD and the CXD uh, families. Now, the, they are both three amplifiers in each family, the PLD 4.2, 4.3, and 4.5 with power up to 5,000 watts, and then the CXD 4.2, 4.3, and 4.5 up to 5,000 watts. They have some very unique features. The first thing that I want to speak about is um, our, our FAST, a flexible amplifier summing technology. This is a, a technology where we can take the entire power supply, essentially, and then drive the, the various outputs in, in a number of flexible ways. So, so I can have a four-channel amp, or it could be a three-channel amp, or a two-channel amp, or one-channel amp, and, and uh, provide all of that uh, output power to, to each of those outputs as needed. A, a single-channel amplifier is really bounded, I should say, by, by two different limitations. The current, which is the line on the left, the red line, and the voltage, which is the blue uh, line on the right. And then the, the area under the curve is the actual power of the amplifier. And you can see that, um, it, and, and then the, along the bottom axis of the graph, we've got impedance. And so you can see there's kind of a sweet spot, and then towards the edges, um, you have uh, you know, uh, decreased power capability at uh, low and high impedance. Most amplifiers allow you, or a lot of amplifiers allow you to bridge. And essentially, you're, you run two channels, you combine two channels, and you get double the voltage. Um, but as you can see, you actually don't get any additional power to the low impedances. I mean, that's generally how it works. What we can do with the PLD and CXD amplifiers is we can combine these channels in parallel as well. And so what it means is you can get extra power at low impedances, and you see that on the left-hand side of the, of the graph. Now, not only can we combine two channels in parallel, but we can even combine three, which is very unique, and four channels together in parallel. Again, reinforcing and, and increasing the amount of current and power that you can put into those, uh, into those low impedance outputs. And then on top of that, you could take two channels in parallel and another two channels in parallel and bridge those together for a bridge parallel combination. And that gives you exceptional amounts of power. And the cool thing is it's in the very desirable four to eight ohm impedance range where most loudspeakers live. With uh, what we're calling fast or, or flexible amplifier summing technology, it provides a completely unique and different way of providing output power for various loads. And there's a lot of amplifiers out now that have DSP on board. Um, one of the things that we have done is we've actually put loudspeaker tunings into the amplifiers and the, and the user can call those up as part of a preset. Um, that in and of itself is, is not necessarily all that new and unique. What we, what we have done in addition to that is we've also provided our own um, intrinsic correction parameters. So FIR filters and, and other um, uh, loudspeaker tuning uh, parameters are there that maximize the performance of the loudspeakers. To make the amplifiers perform the way we wanted to, we had to develop some new technologies and a new output device, a new MOSFET. These essentially, you can see on the right-hand side, that's the actual um, uh, device before it's been uh, potted. And it integrated six different power integrated circuits into a single output device, providing the flexibility and the output that we needed. It, and essentially, it gave us high power with low heat and low noise. Another thing that we spent a lot of time on was the user interface. As I mentioned before, there's a lot of amplifiers out there that have DSP on board but most of them are very, very difficult to use to access those parameters and to actually use the, the signal processing that's on board. And so using just a, a handful of screens, we help the user through the process of selecting the preset. They can select the impedance of their loudspeaker, the power that they want to, and then if they're, you know, whatever speakers they're driving, they can just select them from the wizard and it will automatically load the speaker tuning parameters, saving them a lot of time and effort and essentially creating the, the preset for their, for their application. To just kind of summarize, this, so this is the PLD um, designed uh, as, as I started with for the production live sound market. And you can see it's got XLRs, NL4s, you know, uh, a, a very lightweight platform at just over 20 pounds. Um, you know, front panel control along with a front panel lockout for the rental applications. Um, locking IEC connectors and a, and a host of other features for, designed for that, to, for that market. And then also the CXD um, that, that has you know, life safety compliant features, um, 70 and 100 volt direct drive, uh, 
GPIO on board and, and a number of other um, features available for that, for that market. We're very excited about this product, the, these products, these families, and uh, um, you know, ready to take it to the next level with those.